Hello. Okay. Can you hear me? Uh, but I cannot hear you. Okay. Um, let me no, check. No, I can hear you. All right. No, I can hear so, you. So, uh, yeah. okay. Uh, welcome to Cambly. My name is T. I'm one of the tutors here. What is your name? My name is Shyam, and I'm not new in Cambly. Oh, I, mean, I, see. I used to before. Mm, okay. Yeah. I understand. So you, Sorry. Can, so you can remove this picture if you want. I see. Okay, no problem. Were you like renewing your contract or something with a subscription with Cambly? Uh, <clears throat> no, I mean, I used it like after a while. So there was like some offer going on and I talked in Cambly. What made you decide to go back to Cambly? It seems like you're you know, your speaking skills are really good. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I just wanted to talk with people. And I see you're from Philippines. That was uh, a new thing because I saw only from people, teachers from uh, United States, England. So I saw your profile and you say you're from Philippines. So that, I, that made me interested. Well, it's because I'm a native speaker. My parents made sure that my sisters and I, um, we would learn English first, watch only English movies and series, cartoons, and then uh, made sure that we read everything in English. <laughs> so your first That's language why. was, well, is English. Mm, yes. So, and I've well, been here in Cambly for nine years. Ooh, that's a very long time. So yeah. um, how, how did you learn English as a first language? Did you uh, live in another mm -hmm. country? Well, it just uh, started at home. Um, parents talking in English, making sure that my environment, the people around me will speak English first before anything else. Just like my sons. I have two sons. Um, I'm an English teacher and then my ex-husband is also the same. So we are used to, or we're used to speaking in English. So my sons speak English. Hmm. So you learn English first. So did you learn your own language as well? Yeah, but it's a bit embarrassing to admit this. My grammar is not so good in that language. And um, limited words for me. Yes, so how but I did you, learn. So how do you get by in, in, in your country, in your own country? Filipinos, actually, uh, Philippines, okay, we have two official languages, Filipino and English. And the official language of the education system here is English. So basically, 98% of the subjects are taught in English. So it's not really uncommon to hear someone speak in English. Most especially nowadays, the younger generation, they love to speak English much more than our language. I think it's sad for the culture, but good for their future. Oh, oh wow. So, yeah. <clears throat> so everybody even, so every common person can understand English. Let's just say 94% of the Filipinos can speak English, but those who can speak competitive English, around 47, less than 50%, because my country is a poor country. Even if it's one of the official languages, my country is separated into 7,107 islands. Some How many islands? 7,107. Islands. That's yes. a lot in numbers. Yep. And <coughs> some of these islands, some communities are really like on top of the mountain or deep into somewhere else. And then the next school would be three mountains or a lake um, away. So for others, it's like, it's difficult. Why not stop? And for others, they're too poor or they're below the poverty line that even if the schools are free, their parents would still encourage them to stop going to school so that somebody will babysit their brothers or sisters. 
So mm. we have the potential, but we don't have the chance. Mm. I see. And so yeah. do, you, do you often see foreigners in Philippines? Yes, it's a tourist destination. We have a lot of beautiful beaches here. So there's a lot of, there are a lot of um, foreigners here, but not all parts. Uh, for example, I live in the countryside. It's the mm -hmm. eastern part of the country near the Pacific Ocean. There are a lot of beautiful beaches here too, but they're still undiscovered. So people right now are focusing on, let's say, Boracay, which is um, a very famous party island. Cebu, which is really famous among Asian tourists. Mm -hmm. Palawan, which is one of the eight wonders of the world right now. Uh, Shargao surfing eight spot. Eight wonder? Not really. I'm not so sure, but it's supposed to be like one of the world's best something something. I forgot. Mm -hmm. Because the water is so unbelievably beautiful and there's like an underground cave and... <coughs> Actually, <laughs> I know history, but not so much about the geography. But what I know is it's a beautiful place. I haven't been there, but it's one of the places I'd like to visit someday. Mm. Was Philippines yeah. colonized by Britishers? No, we were under Spain for 333 years. After Spain, the Americans stayed for 20 years or more. And then after them, the Japanese stayed for around mm. seven years. Oh, no, a mm. lot about history. <laughs> I like history. It's like I'm reading a story. I see. Okay, mm. and uh, so you said you were on Camly for eight years? Nine. I didn't know it was existed nine years ago. Well, actually, Camly has been here or it has been around for 10 years. Why didn't we know what they were doing before? Just like any other business, it started small and then it grew and grew until it became really popular worldwide. How was it? Besides, so how was it in the starting? Well, I remembered I was still able to talk to one of the executives. You know, I could still like talk to someone from the higher, higher up. But nowadays there are thousands and thousands of tutors. You probably would just get someone from the... Um, teacher support group <laughs> mm. the higher ups so it was that one and then um they would ask you some questions about the technicalities is everything going well is this uh good you know for opinion to improve the site so it was it not was english speaking great. before oh it was english was speaking native was English it? speakers ever since the beginning oh i, yeah. see, I see i think i so, had more arab students before how did you know about this platform how did you find it well back 10 years ago <laughs> i was already working online as a tutor but it was for a japanese company and i really liked working hard because I decided to live on my own, even, even when my uh, family didn't like it. So I found Cambly, I think, I don't know how, but I was just like, you know, searching for online jobs. And then I saw their name and I was like, why not? Let's, let's see if I can pass the interview or their requirements. And mm -hmm. I did. So it was very cool. I see. Okay. And so is it better now or before? Well, now, um, actually, I can't really tell because before there were a lot of good things. Nowadays, mm -hmm. there are a lot of good things too. But of course, nowadays, since there are a lot of students and there are a lot of tutors, so it's more organized. And of course, there are more tutor, uh, sorry, more students coming in. So, uh, more friends for me to talk to, more cultures for me to explore. Because before, as I have said, usually I can only talk to like Arab students, um, not specifically just them. They were from other countries too, but most of them were from Saudi, for example. Mm -hmm. But nowadays I have as 
many students from, let's say, Japan, China, South Korea, Brazil, mm -hmm. um, other countries from South America. I've also have some students from Africa. Mm, something like I that. See. So yeah. is it your primary job or you do something else beside it? This is my primary job. I actually have like um, another job on the side, but I rarely do it. I read books and write reviews about it. I'm not. But I'm fickle. I'm flaky. Mm -hmm. So if I don't want to read, I don't do it. I mean, it. it's no work, no pay. So it's okay. I see. Okay. What is a good place to visit in Philippines? Hmm. It depends. What do you like? I don't know about Thailand at all. No, I mean Philippine at all. I mean, do you like food much more when you travel? Do you like sightsee historical places? Or do oh, you like the uh, beaches more? Food might be weird. How is food in Philippine? It, it must be totally different. Well, I think Indian food is different too, but you know, Indian food is well known all over the world to be really good. Mm -hmm. And my country's food is not well known yet. So, and there are some food from my country that I don't like. So, um, but if I could suggest some food, for example, we do have roasted pig called lechon, which actually was inspired by the Spaniards or passed down to us by the Spanish people because the other countries that were under Spain also has their own version of it. Seafood, we have a lot of seafood because we're surrounded by water. Um, but if you're into like, let's say... About, about sightseeing, beautiful view. Like, mm, well, we have a lot of mountains that you could hike. Sure. We also have some volcanoes that you could see from afar. I mean, <laughs> um, what else? If you like historical places, well, my country is mostly we're like we're religious, Roman Catholic people. Not all of us, but many of us are. So we have a lot of old churches here built mm. by the Spanish people. So. Uh, how did you how did you get the independence? The Americans bought it from the Spaniards. So how did you get and independence from America? The, uh, I think World War II started uh -huh. and then Japan forced the Americans out of the country. So then and Japan then, ruled for seven years and then the americans after preparing themselves and then you know becoming much better came to help us uh to um push the japanese <coughs> out of the country and then finally we have the true independence. <laughs> first american uh ruled and then they helped actually it was more of like in their point of view they bought it for us from the Spaniards. Oh. But a lot of Filipinos did not believe that. Oh. You know, they still thought that, oh, you're just being hypocrites. You're still going to rule the country anyway. So, uh, and they stayed for 20 years. Um, and then when the World War happened and the Japanese people were very strong. So um, the Americans were like, I shall return. They, they left. And then the Japanese stayed for a while mm. and then they came back to help us pick uh, our lands again. And then this time they were like, you can have it, you can have it this time. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Good to know about that. What time is it in Philippines? In India, it's 10, 10 p.m. We have a two hour and 30 minutes difference. Um, so, it's 12.33 in my country. You're Past waking midnight. up really late. You're awake. Well, my kids made it tough for me today, so they're sleeping. Okay, I won't take much yeah. of your time. It's going to run out. That's okay. I still have more classes, actually. Okay. <laughs> Thank and you. Enjoy. Bye. Bye.